Okay, good morning. It is 8.35 a.m. Sunday, September 17, 2017. September 17th. 8.35, 5, 3, uh, 8, 5, physical movement, 3, uh, happiness of, of people getting together for something good. And then uh, uh, 8 is uh, data, knowledge. 635 is uh, intu intuitive abilities, uh, application of intuitive abilities within, uh, within a lot of people uh, to get data and knowledge. And that is a little bit relative to what I'm about to talk about. DNA testing protocol. Proper DNA testing protocol for DNA ICUC recipients. Okay, um... <clears throat> this is important on many levels. Some of you are spending some good money to go out and get your DNA tested. You get a DNA test and you ask what it is and it's not what you want it to be. And you're going to be like, well, what's up? Um, <coughs> um, <coughs> One second. Okay, excuse that. Um, where the Temperature is changing outside and stuff, and even though I'm inside most all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. Even though I'm inside most of the time, it's still, uh, it affects you when you, ha when you have sick lungs. Uh, lung disease, uh, or just sick lungs that, uh, has a strong effect on you. Anyway, um, all right, let me, first of all, before I tell you what needs to be done if you're going to get any kind of accurate results, before anybody gets over, overly excited as you're spending money that, if you don't know what you're doing, you're wasting your money. Okay, listen to me now. First thing I want to tell you is the parameters. We'll go into this in more detail in a little bit, but um, number number one, you have to get your DNA tested before you get cranked up. So you have the base of where you of what your DNA was before I ever went in you. Number one, if you don't have that, what the hell are you going to compare your DNA to? The rest of the population to see a small amount of change and these uh, people doing a test. They're hardly even aware of what they're doing. Let me tell you something. These scientists that are taking care of this, these are some of the best on this planet. Okay? For them to fire their cost to a regular customer just to fire up their equipment to do this stuff is ten grand. Ten thousand dollars to fire the equipment up. If it's one person, fine. A couple of people, whatever. But that's what it costs. Now, if someone is doing your DNA testing, ask them something. Ask them something. Ask them two things. Number one is, do you have an electron microscope? Electron microscope. And then number two, can I see it? Okay. And a little extra tidbit of information here. These people have equipment a lot more expensive than electron microscope. And they have many different types. Um, each one of their pieces of equipment is millions of dollars. So uh, they actually have a government that wants them to help them with um, something related to DNA genetics. And that's all I'll say about that. None of this is going to go out in the public. I've told you some of the big companies, the size of the big companies that are involved with this company. 
These people are the top 10 on this planet. I won't bother to give you the number. I'm going to leave it right there. I told you they don't get government grants. They don't need it. People send them millions and millions and millions of dollars just to, you know, back their uh, research, their funding. And in the end, they get some incredible advertising. These are the people doing the DNA work for me, okay? It's not just, it's, it's for the DNA stuff I'm doing. It's not for me, it's for everyone. But these are the people that are, you know, that I've gone to. And, and the lead scientist, I went into him and did one. He was like, how are you doing this? He wasn't like, oh, wow. No, he was like, what? How, how do you do this? I, I can feel that. What, 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 how do you do this? Um, he's a scientist. Cool guy, too. We're all different, man. We all ha have our, you know, different uh, characteristics. As uh, who we really are, spirit, sentient energy, we're all different. Okay, let's get back to DNA stuff. So, excuse me. Um, okay, so now, the first thing you have to do is get your DNA tested before I ever touch it. If you don't have that, you have nothing. If you don't have a base, a foundation, what are you standing on? You better have anti-gravity uh, um, equipment because... Uh, if not, you're going down, just going to fall until you hit something else solid, and it won't be a solid platform. It'll be all kinds of whatever messed up. Uh, so that's the first thing you have to do, okay? If you don't have that, forget it. You'll never have the truth of what you're looking for. Okay, number two, when you've had your once, when I've done this, for example, this one young lady, I cranked her mother up. She was like, you know, she she's a student. She's uh, she's really cool. Um, she didn't even know about me until her mom brought it brought it up, <clears throat> and she was asked if she wanted to do this, and she said, "Sure, why not?" Uh, she trusts her mom, and mom. Uh, all of a sudden, she's her mom. She's seen stuff. I mean, uh, talking every. She, it's it's wild, and she knows her mom's not lying. So she said, "Fine, let's do this." So, she got her DNA tested. And I waited till I knew that the DNA testing was done. So after that, I went into her, cranked her up, have it on video. And uh, she could feel just a little bit of soft stuff. And she was a little surprised. She thought it came in harder. I said, it doesn't work like that, it's soft. When I go into you now, it's softer than it's ever been. And it's not because the body's dying. I'm a lot stronger, but I'm more myself. I'm more me than I've ever been. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, uh, so then, after a certain amount of time, seeing how the DNA's already been checked, after a certain amount of time, she's going to go back and get the DNA tested again. And then a lot further on down the road, she'll get it tested again. Now, uh, it takes, the second I go into you and start doing this, change starts happening. Your whole body doesn't morph, turn into what it's going to be in, in, in half a second. The DNA starts changing immediately. Do you know how much DNA is in your body? Do you know how long it takes for that to change? In four months time, you, you can see a little bit of a, a change if you know where to take the DNA. And I'm not going there. Oh, sorry, folks, that ain't happening. But these scientists are, are doing this, okay? So you take the DNA sample, and it's already in four months' time. Little, it has to be a minimum of four months. Then you're going to start seeing a change in the DNA. You're going to see the change coming. Folks, it takes an average of seven, eight years for this to finish changing. And then it stops. It is what it is. Seven, eight years. So some of you, I'm getting cranked up. I've cranked up. And then uh, you're gonna go. Out, then you go out and get your uh, DNA sample taken, and then you get another one later. If you have a sample taken <clears throat> after I've cranked you up, I don't care if it's the original crank up because that starts changing your DNA. Every single source family member that's cranked you up and put their energy into you starts changing your uh, DNA into a different form very slowly. Okay. Um, 
after you've been cranked up, after I've done a DNA ICU, me, after I've done a DNA ICUC on you, it, it'll take us over four months before it even shows. And that's if you know where to get it. It starts right where the big part of the brain is, the, what they call the inner smaller brain right underneath it. Some people call it the reptilian brain. It's not a reptilian brain. It, it's just a different basic part of your brain. And then it goes, it, the spinal cord comes up into it, and then it goes from there down to the base chakra where the spine actually hits the hip. That's up here in this, uh, the lower uh, or inner brain, whatever you want to call it. Um, then it goes, from that's where it starts happening, and then it, it goes down into... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And then it goes down from there into the uh, uh, through the spinal cord. Okay, that's the main ganglion from the brain. Up here in the brain is where I do the work, but it starts occurring first. But no one's going to go in your brain and take a DNA sample. That ain't happening. Okay. But where it starts changing, where you see it, is in the lower part of the brain going down through the spine. Now, <clears throat> over four minutes' time, I can see where that's stronger. Um, I have a friend out in New Zealand. His name is Miro. I'm not going to say his whole name or anything. That's what we call each other. I mean, that's what I, I call him when we talk to each other. Um, really cool guy. Um, strong seer, but he's not awake yet. Um, he He's waking up, but he's... He's got so much stuff going on with his physical, you know, with his conscious brain that he can't stop and relax. Um, he's an investor, does all kinds of stuff like that. Um, uh, a really cool guy, really smart individual. He sees a lot of his stuff at night when he wakes up. Um, he's wanting to hold something in his hand, but he, he knows there's stuff going on. He knows... Um, he used to question so much and be like kind of jittery and now I just saw him the other day went back into him made some changes I wanted to make he was one of the very first to receive this and um, uh, it, my energy's changed since then so I wanted to go into him and uh, take care of him he's been there to uh, help me uh, when I meet you all on uh, video we start as like a, a client situation almost every single one of us become friends right away i just don't have time to talk it's just not that i don't care it's i have no time and i'm sick anyway um i just looked at him and he was so solid and strong i said damn and i don't know how long it was four months you know whatever i don't know and i looked at him and said damn hero i said you've changed i said you're stronger i said hell i'm like a water balloon blowing up I'm trying to do something about that now. It's insane. Push, like I said, push my stomach. You can hear the water in it. I, my whole body's filling up with water. I'm like a human water balloon from that cirrhosis in my liver. Anyway, um, no biggie. Uh, I might go blow up and go pop. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, um, he said that he noticed how much stronger and everything else he is. He's going to bust open wide soon when he sees, and it's going to hit him like a... It's going to be like being in a dark room for 10 hours, and all of a sudden a movie projector screen opens, and there's a huge movie coming out in all these different colors, and it's 3D, um, which is cool. Things are the way they are for him right now for a reason. Okay? Um... There's a lot of very powerful uh, uh, source f members over here, Lilies and Aras, and other family members, getting ready to crank up hard. They know it. I got it. As soon as I get out of here, things are going to pop open in many different areas. Okay, but anyway, um, back to the DNA thing. So, if you if I've done a DNA ICUC on you, especially after it's been a little while, if you turn around and take another sample, DNA sample down from your mouth, and it's been, uh, well, first off, it has, it, it has to be over eight months. If, you, if I've cranked you up, if, so, if I've cranked you up, um, and then you've, if I've cranked you up, and then at any time you take a sample and send it to them, 
you need to wait over eight months time before you give them another sample and getting it through saliva is not where you really how you need to do this uh, can you get by yes but it's you're catching what's feathering out through the body <coughs> Ah, okay, we're back again. Um, so anyway, that's where you're going to see the major change. That's where, that's where it happens. And then from there, it goes out through the body. When I do this, I go into the part of the brain that holds the format. I change the format. Then I go into the rest of the brain that actually produces it. And then I change the factory. So it puts out the new vehicle, the new car, the new DNA. And then I go through the body and then I fix it where it moves through the body. It will move through the body, but it starts at the main place and then slowly gets distributed out. It's as simple as having a factory that builds something, sends something to a warehouse. Um, uh, uh, there's a, a computer program in a factory and then there, there's the factory that builds it and then it puts it in trucks and, and ships it out everywhere. It takes farther, it takes longer to get farther away. <coughs> It does move through the body, but we're talking about building a new body, DNA. Folks, that does not happen overnight, and you need to know what the hell you're doing. That's why some of the best scientists, I'm just going to leave it as some of the best scientists on this planet, are doing it. They have governments coming to them for research help. Major, major, huge corporations. Now, they don't need government grants. They have the best equipment you're going to find anywhere on the planet. It's the latest, newest stuff you can get. They just bought some more stuff. These folks are at the head of their field. So, uh, I would have been very happy if y'all would have waited. I should have put out this video a long time ago. This Part of this fault is mine, and... People, when I've cranked you up and you can feel it, you know something. You're being told, you know, inside something's going on. I should have put this out earlier. Uh, I do everything as fast and expediently and properly as possible. But, uh, you know, I'm doing a lot, man. Uncle Jay's busy as hell. Grandpa. Anyway, uh, uh, so, most DNA samples are taken through saliva, so it takes a while for it to move through the body, but it does start happening within a certain amount of time. If you want to do it through saliva, you should wait seven, eight months before you test it. It should be eight months. And that's if you've done it properly, where you, where you have it tested before getting the DNA ICUC, before ever being cranked up. Or though, if I didn't crank you up, uh, you're still going to see a difference in eight months, but if I didn't crank you up and then you put a sample in, uh, then I crank you up, wait eight months, and you'll see a difference in the saliva, uh, the DNA from the saliva. But you have to have good equipment, folks. I mean, <coughs> most DNA testing places, like any test labs, you know, we do any test. Um, they can pick out a couple base characteristics, and that's all they look for. They can't see the actual DNA. You have to see it. You have to know what the hell you're looking at. Okay, I'm not beating these other people up for what they for what they, they for what they supply. The and the the requirements that they need. They fit the bill, but not for not for this. You have to see the DNA. You have to see individual strands. Okay, so. Uh, anyway, um, when that stuff comes out, uh, uh, especially with myself being here and people not having the proper equipment and then the fact that I'm still here and I'm, stuff's trying to keep me here, there's going to be issues. Um, if you listen to me and follow the guidelines I'm giving you, you'll be fine. So... Uh, It'll be funny, uh, you start changing, you can see more, do more, and then you say, I don't know why my DNA didn't change, I got it tested. What are you expecting to see? What, what do you expect others to see, especially when they can't see the whole thing? 
they're going to say your box that was empty, but it's got an animal in it. They said, yep, that's a box with an animal. The, sign, the scientific approach, too, they also take people who have not had a test. I mean, who have, who, they also test people who have not been cranked up, and they wait eight months and check it again. From the basically from the same area, they have to make sure there's nothing going on with water. You know, something in the water, something in the air. This is scientific proof. Okay, it's not hit and miss play games with uh, uh, in any test lab. We test DNA. Deanna and I were driving somewhere the other the other day and. Uh, uh, we went, there was a, um, uh, honey, that sign on that telephone pole, wasn't it on a telephone pole? The DNA testing? Yeah. Was that handwritten or was that, uh, typed, um, a it what? It was like a sticker yeah. on a telephone pole or on a sign? I don't remember. What was I don't... Oh, 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 a pole. I said, okay. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh, it was a huge metal pole out in the street, uh, like a light pole, something like that. But anyway, uh, I was driving. Uh, Dan pointed it out. But uh, there was a huge sticker or something out there that said DNA testing. Um, yeah, okay. Um, that's not where you want to go. So anyway, uh, it's, I want you to have the correct results. Let's put it this way. If I've done a DNA ICUC on you, within two years, you can take your DNA anywhere and they can test it. And there's going to be, even these other folks that don't have the good equipment, they're going to say, all right, something's not meeting the parameter. They have equipment that says yes, no. Yes, no. Not what's there. Is there a picture in the box? Yes, there's a picture in the box. Okay, we got a yes. Folks, man, that, that ain't enough. Um, these quantitative electroencephalograms, they cost a couple of bucks. Getting the DNA ICUC done, that's expensive. So, you want to get that done? Cool. Get a, get, you know, get a friend with you. I'm notorious for, for doing it to more people than... Uh, what I say, well, <coughs> that does not mean pay for one and get two, okay? It's 900 for one, 1200 for two. There's a reason for that. But when you spend that much money and you have family members there, you really think I'm not going to take care of them too? If you do, then you need to look at what in your mind you're trying to make me to be instead of looking at me with a fresh perspective and trying to understand what the hell I am. Anyway, um, but over there we got, yeah, okay, good. I had to make sure everything was working. So, anyway, if you want to see. For yourself, which I can appreciate big time, uh, what's going on inside you, your DNA, you need to go to someone that at least has an electron microscope. At least, the bare minimum is that they have a, an electron microscope. They've been around a pretty good while. These folks, uh, they got a lot more than that. So, and it's when you start getting it, uh, when you start. Waking up and getting stronger, and I start bringing everything, forcing, and make you stronger. Where it, it doesn't, I don't rip anything out of you. I make you so strong, it just starts flowing out everywhere. Um, as that happens, man, it's exciting. Doing something you've never been able to do before, and you're doing it three, four, five, seven different ways. Damn, that's a big one.
Folks, if you want to do this, great. You want your own proof? That's what this is all about. I have someone who's close to me that is spending a lot of money to help prove this. But the scientists themselves, uh, they're so interested in it that they cut the price way down. Uh, I've told you before, I've cranked up and met and dealt with uh, and friendly with a lot of people. Uh, everyone from people who are homeless to people that are, that are multimillionaires to sleep out there. People in governments, they know about me. I want you to know about yourself. So, if you can afford to get it done the way it needs to be done, fine. But if, if you, if I've already cranked you up and then you send DNA in, it'll be eight months before any change is going to be seen and it's going to have to be with very expensive equipment. Wait two years and you'll see your change in saliva by a lab, you know, a lab testing place. As long as they can get anything, I mean, you know, if if you have a, one of these any lab people and if they depending on the equipment they use cuz I don't know there's different labs all over the world that have different types of equipment I can't say this is this this is that we don't have an a b and c um if they have the right equipment if they have good equipment when they do a lab test uh, on your DNA then within 8 months after I do it they're going to see something that's not normal in the DNA. Okay? Um, for some of the other folks, it'll be two years before you'll be able to see anything. So, if you're going somewhere to get a test for $20 or uh, $400, $500, good luck. When this is finished, these scientists are going to put out a paper on it. It'll be in your scientific journals, literally scientific journals everywhere. It'll be in libraries. With a little luck, they'll leave my name out. I think I can help make that happen. They can say some old fart in overalls. I don't care. But folks, when you, if you're going to get this done, do it right. Otherwise, you're wasting your money. Go buy yourself a nice meal or share a uh, coffee, lemonade, bottle of wine with uh, someone you, you love, care about. Buy something for your kids. Do something sensible with it. You have to have, this is serious, it's real, and you, you can't have a monkey with a baseball bat rebuilding your transmission, okay? I'm not picking on a monkey. Monkey's cool as hell. But you can't do it with a baseball bat. You need to be aware of, of certain things. <clears throat> That's why these people are doing it. And this was all set up to happen on the other side. So, folks, look, man, I love you, but um, the protocol for getting your DNA tested is to uh, get it tested before you get cranked up and then get it tested, honestly, about eight months later. Okay? It starts changing in four months' time, but it's you want to do this through the saliva um, uh, wait eight months and then you best go to a lab that costs at least a thousand dollars best guess to get this done <clears throat> if they don't have an electron microscope they're not going to pick it off going through your mouth after eight months I told you that you can find results in four months time that's not a lie 
you can see change happening before then, but there's no sense in it. You don't want to see a small change, you want to see a big change. That you have to have the right equipment and you have to do it a little different than what than what uh, some of you are trying to do. And hey man, love you. Um, you know this stuff's real, you feel it, you're changing, you know. When I looked at Miro after I hadn't talked to him in a few months, uh, he was a totally different person. You change. But just get it done. Don't go up to someone to a lab for a lab test, $100, $200, $400, and say, hey, can you check DNA? Good? Yeah. I mean, really good. You guys know what you're doing, right? Okay, that's good enough for me. Now, tell me you want to see an electron uh, microscope. Okay. So anyway, I see what's happening, what's going on, and where it temporarily, temporarily leads. And when this report comes out from these scientists, it'll be part of a scientific journal. Then there'll be someone saying, well, I'm not happy with blah, blah, blah. First off, you're paying for the consult. It's a DNA ICUC consult, okay? So, some people can think I'm crazy. I'm not. You can think I'm stupid. I'm not. I know what I'm doing. I know what I am. And I know what's happening. Right now, being stuck in this body being me sucks, but that's okay. That's cool. Sometimes work is like that. It's a four-letter word, in it? it? kind of sucks sometimes. Um, the QEEG got set up before I ever had any proof. Look at those. Through the roof. Before I leave, I want to get one done <coughs> where it is. <coughs> Excuse me, where somebody uh, uh, takes the equipment, puts it on someone, and uh, they get a reading. <coughs> then they put it, have the person leave, leave, just, you know, get far away. Then they put the equipment and put it on the chair the person was sitting in. And then take a test and see what the readings are. And then take a third test. And leave the equipment on the seat and I'll go in it and crank the hell out of it. I'm real. I'm here for everyone and everything which includes all of you. I just need you to know, to understand, that you need to do this with the thought process that a scientist has. This is not trying on a shirt or a new dress. Okay? This is intensive. So, if you want to cook up your own results, go ahead. It don't matter. It's still happening. The proof's still coming out. It's going in scientific journals all over the planet. It's being recorded off planet. So, as a matter of fact, uh, this morning I uh, came down here and I was talking to Deanna. And I said, man, you had a lot of visitors last night. And, um, and she, then she said, Jay, she goes, honey, I'm swollen. She couldn't even get her rings off. Her whole body's swollen up. They're putting all these uh, fluids and some other, other energy in her too. <coughs> her body has to be more solid. It's, it has to do with being on a ship. These drop ships are very fast. They have their own gravitational equipment, you know, so you, you don't even know you're moving. You don't feel any jerking. You just take off. It still has an effect on the physical body. So she's being changed to go along with that. It's a little difficult because her DNA keeps changing. So they're putting different fluids and stuff in there. I've told you before, she had a lump in her arm. One of her arms, can't remember which, but um, it was a huge lump. Big old lump. And then it slowly, the fluid they put in there slowly went into the body. So, 
seeped into the flesh, it got into the blood, and it goes through the body. And then Deanna was complaining about it, said, you know, it's kind of bo bothering me. And I looked at it, trying to see what it is, and I said, oh, there's something in there for this, this, that. Um, and, you know, that's what she was getting to. We see the same thing. Sometimes one person see a little more of this, a little more of that. But anyway, they were in here three, four times. Uh, uh, four times for checking stuff. They were in the house eight times last night. And we don't have time to set up com uh, the computer, set up the uh, cameras and everything right now. It's not for a little while before they actually come in. That's And that's what I was seeing a while ago. That's what's scheduled. I'm not going to tell you what month, but it's this year. And it ain't for a while. So it was important we got the cameras and learned how to use them. They'll be po they're, they're already popping in now. It's so many of your homes all over the place touching you. Yeah, they work with the governments. You think they stopped there? Hell no. They've watched our governments. They know what the hell they're about. They're about themselves. Greed, corruption, avarice. These people didn't come all the way over here to help us for nothing. Just to let our fracked up governments run what they're going to do to help us. They're, they come in person. I told you that a long time ago, years ago. When they come, you'll see, you'll see fleets of them over major cities. They'll pop in, stop, stand there, let you look at them, and then poof, they take off again. We're all family, man. Um, i got to get Deanna's main computer running up. I had it, I don't know how long. So anyway, uh, I want to get this um, video off to tell you all, look, you want to get a test and have your own proof, cool. But this is what you need to do to find out. There's a big difference between knowing if there's something in a box and opening up and see the box and seeing what's inside the box and then examining it. It takes expensive equipment. Like I said, major companies, even governments go to these people. Okay? So, if when they put out the scientific findings, it'll be proof. Proof positive. And it'll be available in libraries and stuff, uh, universities all over the world. So, spending 2400 whatever dollars on a test, folks, it ain't like that. And if they don't have an electron microscope, you're wasting your time. And there's newer equipment. That's different, better. But if they don't have a minimum of an electron microscope, you're not going to get anywhere. So, anyway, folks, look, love you. I should have put out this video a long time ago, okay? It's just, I'm doing everything I can. Oh, the spheres are finally out. They'll, they'll be um, finished. They'll be uh, sent off. The ones that, the last ones, uh, tomorrow. Unless it's a holiday or something. I never, never know when that's happening. Anyway, uh, folks, the proof, everything's waiting. Okay, it'll be there. It's not like unscrewing a light bulb and putting it back in. This is real change. And when someone is in the late, mid, late, late 80, uh, late, late 20s, like about 28, and their body rapidly changes in four months where they almost don't look like the same person, He's the right age, a very good candidate for all this to happen, and it has. So, I can tell you right now, if you got his DNA checked, he'd be able to, you'd be able to see something, but it just has to be with the right equipment. I, I explained where it starts, how it starts, how it moves through the body, folks. I'm explaining, people, other people don't know about this. I tell you because I'm there, I see it, I understand that I know it, and it's real, and you're all about to find out beyond the shadow of a scientific doubt. You have your control groups, you have the, uh, the other people, yada, yada, yada. This is not a one-on-one -on -one test shot in the dark, okay? This is real. And it ain't with litmus paper. 
folks, look, I love you. I just don't waste your money if you're gonna uh, do what you want, okay? But I just want you to know, um, chances are you're not gonna be happy and you're wasting your money um, unless you do it the way I explained. So you have the before and then the after, and uh, it doesn't start for like four months, but if you're gonna do it through saliva, you need eight months. And they have to have an electron microscope. Minimum. The minimum requirement. Okay? Like I said, these other folks have a lot more. Folks, I love you, man. Have a good one. And uh, I know it's exciting when you wake up and you start seeing things. You start talking with your spirit guides. And this DNA, as you see, is strong. It sometimes, not all the times, sometimes, especially pity of people, it comes in hard everywhere. Um, calm down. Relax. There's a lot of stuff out there that just because you're talking with someone, you think you have truth and everything. Nah. There's a lot of stuff over there that's full of crap messing with you. Okay? It'll be dead soon. Not for a little bit yet. So. Remember, you get message. If an asshole gives you a lie, you still receive message. If you're not strong enough to see everything involved with that, especially who the hell gave you the message, then you're going to run around blabbing about stuff you have no idea what you're talking about. You'll be spreading someone's lies with and They're the ones out of a body, and they're very strong. Even though they're small, they're very strong. And they have the, the, uh, the negative attitude to create a situation that is, uh, well, for a bad reason. They want to keep the old way of abuse. It ain't going to happen. So, uh, if nothing else, there's a lot of stuff for y'all to think about. People that haven't had the test done. Uh, just wait. Do some research. And then, if you feel it's worth the money, do it. Okay? Um, if I've already done, done it to you. Then after you get tested, you have to wait a minimum of eight months before you get it tested again. Because it'll continually grow. But, and it goes like that for seven or eight years. Then it finally levels levels off. Dried up. But it's cirrhosis is a pain in the butt. If you have cirrhosis, don't mess with salt. <laughs> um, makes your mouth, tongue, everything swell up. You wouldn't believe all the salt is in food. You don't even know it until you eat it. Anyway, folks, look, love you, man. Um, you want to do stuff yourself? Awesome. There's some of you out there that can definitely afford that. Do it. If you want good results, you have to do it in a good way. Okay? Do it properly. Uh, you won't be let down. The biggest, the most important change you're going to see is what you see and feel and understand in yourself. So, my friend that was kind of over hyper and everything, uh, he's so settled down. Uh, he physically looked, he trimmed, got like a chiseled look to him, stronger. Um, his, his brain, his thought process is totally different. You know, remember, brains, that's what I do for a living. Um, but you can see it. Anyone that, anybody that hadn't seen him, since before and then saw him now would be blown away so physical change the brain change that's that's what this is about just getting a regular crank up starts breeding a new uh, race a new breed of people and this takes it to another level and everyone's DNA is changing through the field softly every, uh, anyway. Oh, and there's people that have thought that because I said when you get out of your body that um, um, you're going to get uh, a crank up anyway. No, I never said that. What I did say is that when you get out of your body and you're normal, you're going to be helped. It's like a it's like a very soft type of uh, addition. You can call it like a mini crank up or something where you get something extra. Everyone's going to get helped. Everyone that's cool is going to get help with energy. 
they're going to get cleaned and it'll leave a nice residue in them. Um, it's not an actual crank cut by any means. It's something to help. Um, so, uh, that wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be honorable. Um, this is a special time in creation, folks. This is the rebirth of the way creation functions, of who's in it, who's left in it, and how it moves forward. And the four new first beings coming out. So, coming out of the first dimension. All right, folks, man, love you. Take care, and uh, if you want to do this? Great. Get your own proof, for Pete's sake. That's I. That's what I'm about: helping you become yourself and understanding things for yourself, and then you make up your own decision. You, we get, we gather information. That's data. We it goes through the heart and everything else. It becomes a feeling, understanding, with the help of the hypothalamus. The more understandings we have, the more wisdom we have. The better decisions we can make about everything. But if you don't have the data necessary to understand how you need to get a DNA test done, not by uh, uh, one of those any lab, any test labs, okay? Um, you need to have someone do it that actually knows what you're doing. Okay? You want to go racing, you go on a race car, not a bicycle. Um, that's the only way to get the accurate results. And that, that way, you, you'll find out for yourself. Okay? So, folks, love you, man. Take care and I hope you have a kick-ass day.